Hello everyone, welcome back to A Bodery. Today we're talking cloth nappies again and particularly cloth nappies for tiny babies. You might not know that most cloth nappies are one size or birth to potty, which basically means that they are designed to change shape as your baby gets bigger. So they'll fit from about 10 through to 35 pounds. If you have a small baby though, you'll probably find that they don't fit right from birth. And if you're really set on using cloth nappies right from day one, then you'll probably need to have a small set of newborn nappies to help see you through the early weeks or even months. Just to give you an idea of how a one size nappy compares to a newborn size nappy, I have ones just here to show you. So here is a standard one size pocket nappy on its smallest setting. And then this is a newborn nappy. It's actually one of the smaller newborn nappies but you can see that it is certainly smaller definitely at the waist and it's also less bulky so um, on a smaller baby it's not going to seem as sort of big and overwhelming. <laughs> so as always when it comes to nappies there's no such thing as one best nappy because it will really depend a lot on what you particularly are looking for. So some people like a really fast drying nappy, some people want something that's super super easy and some people don't have a lot of money to spend so they might want something more affordable. So today I have split it into three different sort of categories of option so that you can narrow it down fairly quickly into the areas that are most important to you. So we'll start with the easy option. And in this category, I'm including any kind of standard modern cloth nappy. So that would be um, all-in-ones, pocket nappies, all-in-two nappies, although there's a bit of a caveat on those that I'll come on to. Any nappies that in essence look a lot like a disposable nappy. Some of the most popular ones to use for newborns are close poppins, which are an all-in-two nappy. Um, Babber and Boo newborn, it's a pocket nappy. They're lovely, but they, these are really big. So these didn't fit my daughter until she was about 10 weeks old. So just bear that in mind, like for a newborn nappy, these are pretty big. And then finally, an all-in-one like this, Top Spots Teeny Fit. There are plenty more newborn size easy nappies out there, so I would just go out and have a look and see which, which ones you think are right for you. Obviously they're super, super easy, you just put them on and take them off. Another advantage of these easy nappies is that they are often pretty trim. So when babies are tiny, certain newborn nappies can look really, really bulky on them um, because obviously they're so, so tiny. And these sort of easier all-in-one, all-in-two style nappies are often um, quite trim and built really for the tiniest, tiniest babies. So that can be a benefit, particularly if you have a tiny one. The downsides are that they are relatively expensive, so compared to the other options that I'm about to show you, they're definitely on the pricier side. That might not be a problem for you, but it's worth bearing in mind that you're probably only going to use these nappies for up to three, maybe four months. You're only going to get a little bit of wear out of them. So most people prefer to spend less, but it could be that you buy a few of these super easy options for when you're out and about, or perhaps for the really, really early days, so that you know that you're not going to have to think too hard when your brain is a bit of a fuss. <laughs> the other downside is that some of them aren't particularly absorbent. So the Babber and Boo ones that I just showed you are pretty absorbent. In fact, my 16 month old can wear them now and doesn't outwear them. Other ones are only really suitable for the earliest, earliest days when babies don't wet very heavily. So the close pop-in newborns and the Top Sports Teeny Fits that I showed you, they are both really um, not particularly absorbent so if you're finding that your baby is out wetting them quite quickly that is very normal and it's probably worth moving on to one of the other options that I'm about to show you. The second option is what I like to call the super reliable option because I have probably never known a baby to out wet this particular option and that is to use a fitted nappy with a cover over the top. A fitted nappy is a nappy where the whole thing is absorbent. So look at this one here, you can see that the whole of the nappy is made of the absorbent material and then obviously you need to put a waterproof cover over the top. The real benefit of these is that they are super, super absorbent. Like I said, lots of babies will outwet the modern cloth nappies that I was talking about just before. So if you want something that you know is gonna be super reliable, that you're not gonna get leaks from, then I would probably consider this option here, possibly the next one, but 
this is the main one. They are also excellent for containment. If you've never had a baby before, newborn poos are explosive. So having something like this where you've got the elastics on the nappy itself and then one or possibly even two elastics on the wrap means that the chances of a poo escaping this nappy are really, really low. So that's excellent, again, if you want something that isn't gonna cause leaks and, and means you're not gonna have to change outfits constantly. <laughs> they are generally one of the more affordable options as well. It does vary, so some are more expensive and others are cheaper, um, but certainly there are options out there if you're looking for something more affordable. They're also quite easy to use because although you've got the nappy itself and then the wrap over the top, both are as easy to put on as a disposable nappy. So there's not a particularly steep learning curve. On the downside, these are some of the slower drying nappies. Um, they can sometimes take quite a while. You can factor that in by just having more nappies in your stash. Um, but if drying time is an issue for you, then these are probably best avoided. And they're also quite bulky. So like I said, with the all-in-one easy style nappies they tend to be quite trim on the other hand these ones can be quite bulky especially on a smaller baby so you're weighing up whether you want something that is trim and less absorbent or something that's bulkier and more absorbent some of my favorite options in this category would be the mothery sandies that i've just been showing you the bubble bobs bubble bubs bam bams <laughs> it's really hard to say these don't have poppers on so you need a nappy fastener at the top but they are lovely and actually these are not particularly bulky so if you want a fitted nappy but don't want a bulky one then this is a really good option and finally um pretty lulu newborn size these are so absorbent <laughs> for the for the size that they are um so yeah if you're looking for something super super reliable then these are a great option though they are slightly more expensive than the other ones. In terms of covers over the top of your fitted nappies, you can sometimes use the covers from all in two nappies. So when I mentioned earlier that the close pop-in, for example, is an all in two nappy, sometimes if you have a slightly smaller fitted nappy and a, a good sized wrap from your all in two, then you might find that your all in two cover will fit over the top. It's not always the case, but it's worth a try. Otherwise, there are a few brands that I really like for covers. One is Thirsties. So this is the Thirsties Duo wrap in a size one. I also really like Seedling Komodo wraps and Mothery's Airflows. <laughs> this is a size small, so there is one smaller than this. There are also pull-up style covers, which are great. So Putty Lulu and a Navy do those. And then wool is also a great option for newborns because it's really breathable. So it helps them, helps their sensitive skin to stay dry and healthy. The third option is what I'm calling the affordable option, and that is to use flat nappies. Flat nappies are essentially just a big square of fabric that you fold up either into a rectangle to just lay inside a cover, or you can actually fold it around your baby and fasten it with a nappy fastener. The most popular options for newborns are pre-folds and muslins. You can also use terry squares, but they tend to be a little bit bulky on a newborn. If you're really set on using terry squares, then I'd recommend going for a 50 by 50 centimeter square rather than the standard 60 by 60 or even a larger 70 by 70. Um, so it, it, it can be done, they're just a little bit bulkier. I'm going to talk about pre-folds and muslins mainly today just because they're what most people go for for a newborn. So the difference between a pre-fold and a muslin is that a pre-fold has been sewn in place so it's in a smaller rectangle which makes it a little easier to handle whereas a muslin is exactly like the ones that you use as burp cloths looks a little bit like this compared to the other options both are relatively quick drying and relatively affordable and often can be not too bulky so if you want something that is quite absorbent um, but not as bulky as a fitted nappy, then a flat nappy is a great option. They also have the added benefit of being able to be used beyond the newborn phase. So obviously with um, a modern style cloth nappy or a fitted nappy, you'll find that they have a time limit to them, so you can only use them as long as they fit your baby. Whereas a pre-fold, for example, like this one, 
can be folded into three and used as a booster inside a one size nappy. This is a size two pre-fold so you can actually get a smaller size than this but it's the one that I have to show you today. <laughs> the downside of these is that they just have a little bit more of a learning curve to get the hang of them than the other options that we've talked about. So with a pre-fold it can be as simple as just folding it into three like so but with a muslin, obviously, because it is just a huge piece of fabric, you need to get to grips with folding it into a nappy shape and actually getting it onto your baby. This is the sort of skill that seems like it's super terrifying, but actually once you've got the hang of it and given it lots of practice, it's much easier than you think it will be. So I wouldn't necessarily be put off by just the idea of folding, it's worth giving it a go. I do have a whole video specifically about pre-folds, so if you'd like to know more about that option, then you can take a look at the video that I will link up here at the top. So once you have decided on the nappies that you would like to try, you're probably wondering how many you will need and what else you will need ready for when your baby arrives. Newborns need really frequent changes, so they'll often go through a nappy every two or three hours during the daytime and will still need nappy changes throughout the night. So having around 10 to 12 nappies per day is a really good number. So if you're planning to wash every two days, then having like 20 to 25 nappies would be perfect. And then if you want to wash less often, just adjust it depending on how many days you're gonna leave between washes. You'll need somewhere to store your dirty nappies. I like to use a really big waterproof bag called a wet bag, just because you can chuck it straight in the machine with your nappies. Um, you don't have to touch anything and the bag gets washed. On that note, um, newborn poo can go straight in the washing machine. Um, as long as your baby isn't eating solids, all of their poo is water soluble, so you can just chuck it all in the machine and the machine will do its work. So that definitely makes using cloth with a newborn much easier. <laughs> if you want to use cloth when you're out and about, then having a few smaller wet bags can be a really good idea. And you might also want to use cloth wipes. So if that's the case, then having about 30 to 40 cloth wipes is usually about right for one baby. Another thing people like to use with their nappies is liners. Liners aren't absorbent, they are just a piece of fabric or paper that lies between the baby and the nappy to catch any poo or to keep their bottoms dry. Disposable liners are great for catching poo, so actually with newborns they tend not to really have much benefit, so I, I would say just skip them all together. Fleece liners, on the other hand, can be really useful with newborns because newborns have super sensitive skin, so having a way to keep their bottom dry can be really helpful, and fleece is excellent for staying dry. So if you just pop a fleece liner on top of your nappies, that will really help your baby's bottom. If you would like more information on using cloth with newborns, then I have a full blog post on using prefolds and muslins, and you can also head over to my Instagram where I actually posted a IGTV of my newborn nappy stash when I had my last baby, so you can take a little closer look at that. If you have any more questions, you can always feel free to drop them in the comments, and otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!